Hi guys! So again, uh, Sir Yuli is back, no? And, uh, magbabahagi tayo muli, no? Ng panibagong kaalaman sa inyo. At ang ating tatalakay ngayong araw is the standard form and the general form of the equation of a circle. How to find the standard form and how to find the general form of the circle. Okay? So, before we do that, mga kaibigan, no? Sa mga hindi pa subscriber ni Isimat, Please do subscribe on this channel by just clicking our subscribe button as well as the notification bell para updated ka sa mga lesson na in-upload natin araw-araw. Mali mo, next upload natin yun na pala yung kailangan mo. Okay, so again, uh, always stay tuned. And if you encounter any ads in the beginning, in the middle, or or the end of our tutorial, or kahit anong video sa YouTube, please do not skip those ads kasi malaking tulong yun sa mga creators na tulad ko. Saglit lang naman yun, let it finish and then continue the tutorial afterwards. Okay, so without further ado, let us discuss our lesson for today. So let's start with the standard form of uh, the equation of the circle. Ano? So sulat lang natin mga kaibigan, uh, the standard form. Let me just write it here. Standard form. So, hindi na natin nalagay yung circle kasi nga, we are talking about circles here, no? So, standard form, mga kaibigan, alam natin, in a circle, we have a center and a radius, no? That is how we define a circle. A uh, center and a radius. The center of a circle is commonly denoted by C, or point C, uh, with coordinates HK, okay? And the radius R. So, ito yung uh, mga kailangan natin to form the standard form of the circle. Ano? The center and the radius. That is how we define a circle. So, ano ba yung standard form, mga kaibigan? So, bakit? So, it goes like this, ano, mga kaibigan? Parenthesis, x minus h square plus y minus k square equals r square. Right? So, that is our standard form. When the center is located at h, k, and have a radius R. Okay? Paano naman kung yung center, mga kaibigan, ay nasa origin? No? Yung center natin ay nasa origin. That means uh, that is located at 0, 0. Right? That is the origin. So, simple lang, mga kaibigan, uh, papalitan lang natin ng 0, yung H, and then yung K. So, papalitan lang natin ng 0 yung mga yan. Then, uh, let us simplify. So, we have X square plus y square equals r square. Alright? So, lumalabas mga kaibigan, dalawa yung pwede nating standard form. Either the, ridge, uh, the, the center is located at hk or at the origin. No? Uh, if the center is at hk, this is our standard form. Otherwise, kung siya ay nasa origin, ito naman yung kanyang standard form. So, before we give the general form of uh, the equation of circle, let us have some examples in standard form, no? let us uh, let us just erase this. So I will give you points and uh, radius. Then uh, lalagay natin yung equation niya. Uh, let's say for example number one, uh, the center is located at two seven. Uh, sorry, but two okay, sorry, two seven, and the radius has 6 units. So, yung radius, mga kaibigan, is 6 units. Alright? So, paano ba natin isusulat yung standard form niya? Simple lang, mga kaibigan. Again, this is our H and this is our K. So, let us write a uh, parenthesis X minus yung kanyang H, which is 2 square plus Y minus yung kanyang K is 7 square equals 6 yung kanyang R, mga kaibigan. Alright? So, 6 is square. Then, simplify lang natin itong 6 square. So, we have 36. So, the standard form now is x minus 2 square plus y minus uh, 7 square equals 36. Alright? So, you don't need to uh, expand this one kasi nga, siya yung standard form natin. Alright? So, another example, number 2. Let's say the center is located at negative 5, 3 with radius 12 units. Yan. So again, um, substitute lang natin, ano? Yung h is negative 5. So, x minus negative 5. So, that will become minus negative 5. Tama? 
square plus y minus 3. Now, yung kanyang k square equals 12 square. Then, let us simplify mga kaibigan. Negative multiply by negative, that will become positive. Right? So, this will become plus, no? x plus 5 square plus y minus 3 square equals 144. The square of 12. Okay? So, that is the standard form of the equation given this circle or the center and then the radius. Example number 3. What if the center is at the origin? Na? Yung center daw mga kaibigan, center is at the origin. So, yan yung given sa problem. Ano? Origin. And uh, the radius is 5 units. Yan. So, again, simple lang. Ano? Since nasa origin yan, x squared plus y squared na yan. x squared plus y squared equals 5 square, mga kaibigan. Ano ba yung 5 square? That is 25 na, ano? So, dinerecho na natin, ano? Dine natin nilagay yung 5, then parenthesis square. Dinerecho na natin, which is that is equal to 25. So, this is our final answer for number 3. So, that is the standard form, mga kaibigan. Let us proceed naman sa general form. Ganun lang kadali, ano? Yung standard form natin. Uh, basta kabisado mo lang kung ano ba yung itsura ng standard form and how you will uh, substitute no? uh, the center and then the radius dun sa equation natin. Okay? So, yung general form naman mga kaibigan, let me just uh, write general form, general, general form of equation of the circle. So, ano ba yung tura nun? It looks like this mga kaibigan, no? uh, ax squared plus by squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Kung saan mga kaibigan, ano, where, where a is equal to b. Yan. So, ito daw yung general form mga kaibigan, ano, ax squared plus by squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Kung saan yung A at B ay equal. So, kapag hindi equal yung A at B, hindi ito circle. O, yun yung tatandaan natin. And A, B, D, E, F are coefficients. Okay? Numerical coefficients. Ang variables lang natin dyan, yung X and Y. X and Y, X and Y. Alright? Yung F constant ito. Yung A, B, D, and E are numerical coefficients. Okay? Paano mga kaibigan kung yung A ay 1? So, simple lang, ano? Kung 1 yun, edi, tatanggalin na natin yun kasi nga, hindi naman natin kailangan ilagay yung 1 na coefficient. So, this will become x square plus y square plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Right? So, kapag yung a natin ay 1, ito yung itsura ng ating general form. Ngayon mga kaibigan, how do we find the general form given the center and the radius. So, brain lang natin ito. Let's say, for example, uh, we, have a cent uh, we have a circle uh, in which the center is located at 4, negative 1. 4, negative 1. And then, the radius given is 7 units. Yan. Okay, bigyan no? 7 units. We are required to find the general form. Okay, so, paano gagawin natin yan? First, we need to write our standard form. Okay, so, lalagay lang natin, standard form natin, that is x minus, yung h is 4, square, plus, yung y natin is negative 1, so, magiging plus ito, no? So, magiging y plus 1 is square, equals 7 is square, that is 49. Okay, so, ito ngayon yung standard form natin from our uh, topic uh, before, no? So, ngayon, to find the general form, we need to expand this one. So, paano natin expand yan? Sisimplify lang natin, ano? Expand lang natin. X minus 4 square. Expand natin yan. So, ano magiging expansion, expanded form nito? Square natin yung first term. So, that will become X square. Then, multiply natin yung two terms. X and negative 4. That is negative 4X multiply by 2. Then, yun yung ating middle term. So, negative 8X. Then, square nung last term. Negative 4, that is positive 16 plus 
Square din natin, and expand din natin itong y plus 1 square. So again, square nung first term, that is y square. Y square. Then, uh, product nung dalawa, y and 1, that is y. Then, twice. So 2y, no? Plus 2y. Then, square nung last term, which is 1. Equals 49. Alright? So in general form, lahat ng uh, values ay nasa kaliwa. Then, yung matitira sa kanan ay 0. So, meaning, transpose natin yung 49 dito sa left side. Then, combine like terms na natin, ano? So, x square, copyin lang natin yan. x square, tapos copyin lang din natin yung y square, plus y square, then minus 8x. Ina-arrange lang natin, ano? Then, plus 2y. Then, ito na yung like terms. Yung 16, 1, tsaka yung 49, na So, plus 16, mga kaibigan, plus 1, tapos yung 49, ta-transpose natin from positive, magiging negative. Yan. Equals 0. Right? 0 na yung nasa kanan. Ito, uh, just combine this one, ano? Copyin lang natin ito kasi wala namang uh, like terms dito. So, bababa lang natin yan. That is x square plus y square minus 8x plus 2y. So now, 16 plus 1 is 17. Tama. Minus 49, that is negative 32. Tama, no? Negative 32 equals 0. So, ito na ngayon mga kaibigan yung general form, ano? Simple lang. From standard form, naging general form na siya. Because we expand, we just expanded it. Alright? To find the general form. Ngayon mga kaibigan, paano pag pinahanap yung A, B, D, E, and F? Yung A is 1, tama, no? Which is also equal yan sa B. 1. Yung d natin, uh, that is the coefficient of x, which is negative 8. Yung e natin is the, kita nyo pa ba? Yung e natin is the coefficient of y, which is positive 2. And yung f natin is negative 32, which is the constant. No? Ganyan lang. No, eto na ngayon yung mga coefficients. Then this is the general form. So that is how we expand or that is how we find the general form of equation of a circle. So, I think mga kaibigan, we don't need to give any examples pa, no? Kasi, ganun lang din naman eh. To find the general form, uh, just write the standard form and then expand to find, to get the uh, general form. Okay? So, ulit. Lagi ko lang, ano, this is the standard form, standard form, and this is the general form. Yan. So, ganun lang naman mga kaibigan, paulit-ulit lang kapag binigyan kayo ng center and the radius, Ito lang yung process na gawin mo, then you'll find the final answer. Okay, so we, uh, I think that's it for today mga kaibigan. Ano? Uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below or uh, message ka sa ating FB page. Uh, we will try to answer every questions you have. Right? So without uh, anything else, let's end here. Ano? So thank you mga kaibigan. Salamat. Um, stay tuned for more. Uh, God bless and mabuhay kayo.